Hey guys, welcome back to another hit film tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at how we created the title sequence for our It short. You can download the project files in the description, so let's go ahead and get started. Compared to the other title tutorials we've done on this channel, this one is pretty simple. It's more about getting the right font than having a bunch of complex layers. The two fonts I'll use can be found in the description. Create a new composite shot from the media panel if you haven't already. Now create a new text layer as well. Customize the font and size in the text panel. Scale it up to the right size, and change it to red. Add a fractal noise effect to this layer. In the controls panel, change the type to fluid. In the Transform section, lower the scale until you get the right amount of texture. Down in the Appearance section, change the Blend to Multiply. This will overlay the darkness of the fractal noise onto the red color of the text. Adjust the exposure and offset to your liking. If you'd like the fractal noise to have some movement, you can keyframe the Seed property. Now we'll add a glow effect or two. Lower the threshold if you don't see an effect, and adjust the intensity and radius to fit your scene. Next up is the subtitle, which is pretty much exactly the same. Create a new text layer and type the title. Customize the font and size in the text panel. Add fractal noise, but this time change the two colors in the appearance section. One is a pale blue and the other is light orange. Once again, add a slight glow effect. For the background, I'll bring in a picture of grunge, and tint it red with the hue colorize effect. In this case, all I need to do is raise the saturation to get that result. Next, I'll add a vignette. Raise the softness and the curvature, and position it above the screen so that only the top of the texture is visible. I'll also lower the width slightly. Now drag the snow preset of the particle simulator onto the timeline. In the controls panel, search for particles per second and lower that value. Then search for color and change it to red. Turn on Motion Blur for the layer, and then if you need them to be more visible, raise the Alpha Boost property. We've got more IT tutorials coming over the next few weeks. If you missed the short, you can check it out up here. Let us know if you have any questions, and we'll see you all in the next video.